my movie maniacs out there. We get sci-fi with our horror shorts today from the Ashkosh Film Festival. Yes, that's right. We're taking a look at two shorts, one called Sleepworking and the other one called Planet of the Brain Suckers. Now we're going to start off with Planet of the Brain Suckers, brought to us by director writer Maxwell O. Perry, who it's an animated film and it tells us the story of a crew that crash lands on a planet, they need energy, and in the planet that they land on they find are aliens that want to suck their brains. Uh, you know, while I'm not a huge fan of uh, this type of animation that they used in here, I give them total props for doing animation. And some of it was I really enjoyed. But on the whole, it just, it just wasn't my uh, cup of tea for that animation. I had a chance to actually see this film once before uh, for the Short Bus to Insanity Film Festival. And I did enjoy the material, and the voice acting is done fairly well in this. It is humorous. It's got its humorous moments. And uh, over Overall, for being done uh, by just one person, I uh, give them props for that. I'm just not quite a fan for it. But if you do like independent animation films of a slightly different tone and you like a good sci-fi horror uh, film, well, you know, you might want to check out Planet of the Brain Suckers. Not uh, uh, one of the more solid films of the festival, but still an interesting take on it. And it's always uh, fun to see artists take new ways to express their ideas. Another one uh, that was out is Sleepworking. This one had some budget to it, brought to us by director, writer Gavin Williams, basically telling us the story of a group of people who were, are set up to work while they're asleep. It's set in the future where the technology is there for these folks to actually plug in and they blank, blank out, basically go to sleep you know, consciously, but subconsciously they're up and walking around and doing work for various people. And we get to find out that uh, one of these uh, ladies, Alice, uh, is kind of suspicious about what's going on and starts to wonder exactly what she's doing when she's asleep. And so she tries to take some actions to try to find that out. I, wow, this one really was a captivating one. Really sucked you in and wanted to see where it was going. And let me tell you, it didn't end how I expected it to. Now, the special effects in here are really well done for an independent sci-fi film. And the production value really looks Hollywood style. I just loved the look of this and the performances of all the actors as well. They really sold these parts well. I, you know, it's a theme that we've kind of seen before, but with a little bit of a different twist to it. So there's uh, some blood in here, there's some spooky moments, there's some kind of disturbing moments, but really well done. And we they really do a good job of having you experience what Alice has experienced as she hops in and out of this uh, sleep work state, if you will. So I really uh, hope this film uh, gets a lot more exposure out there. It was a lot of fun, very enjoyable. You, you don't see a whole lot of independent sci-fi because of the production that needs to go into it and you can tell they really put their heart into this film and it shows and it comes across through the screen and that'll about do it for us here at the final cut next time keep that ticket stop